Hey Crusaders, I know, a different angle of filming again. This one is like, whoa, sunlight. I'm filming in the morning, I never film in the morning. So I'm actually getting decent lighting for a change. And I do apologize for the mirror being behind me. It's just that this is a much quicker angle to film at. Today I am doing my 15 in 2015. And this is very much focus on science fiction and fantasy because yes, I am continuing on with my fantasy quest. Now these are books that I really want to try and read this year, clearly 15 in 2015 Victoria, people know that, yeah, but these aren't necessarily the only 15 and I'm not including any books from the Night Runner series because you've heard about that enough. <laughs> um, so these are a mixture of really popular ones that everybody has read and some other ones that I've not seen that many people have read. And yeah, it's just basically 15 that I really, really fancy reading. I had so much fun putting this list together because what I did is I kind of, okay, so I wrote the popular ones down that everyone's been talking about. And then I looked on Goodreads in the recommendations part for fantasy and I clicked on books which I liked the sound of. And then I saw who um, as my Goodreads friends had read that book. And it was just so much fun to click a book which I have never heard of before and see who else has read that book. It's a great way of discovering books, guys. So also, I, like, Goodreads friends are like the best things to have. <laughs> what I found quite entertaining was that I clicked on a lot of these books and it came up with that Rachel had read them. And so some of these books on this list are here because Rachel, she reads so much. And if you don't know who she is, I think her not quite sure how you pronounce her channel name, Kalinardi, Kal and she reads so much science fiction and fantasy and she reads so many which I've heard no one else mention and she's fantastic so check her out. I'll link her down in the doobly do. I never say doobly do, why did I say it today? Anyway, so let's get started. Okay, so number one is a pretty obvious one and that is The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. I did already mention this in my fantasy goals video. Don't worry, by the way, only I think two of these books are ones that I actually mentioned in my fantasy goals video. I went for different ones in my 15 before 15, blah, 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 no, what? 15 to th The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'm actually currently reading this. I'm about halfway through and yeah, oh, I mean, come on, more about this soon. The second book that I want to read is The Fall of Kings by Ellen Kushner. This is the third book that's set in the Riverside world. Um, if you don't already know, Ellen Kushner is the author of Swords Point and The Privilege of the Sword and, you know, talk about them a lot, don't I? So it's about time I read the third book in the Riverside world. It's not with the same characters. I'm not sure which characters it's with, but I know that Riverside... <laughs> is so fantastic. The next book is one that I've had recommended to me and seen recommended on a few different channels and that is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Suzanne Clark. Now this book I have seen some really great things about it but I've also seen some not so great things about it. The classic feel to the book and some people say that it's a bit slow but I love the classic books, I love slower paced books so I think this will be the type of book for me. I've seen quite a few people have read it. I believe it's about magicians. The next book I have to mention quickly is actually science fiction and that is Old Man's War by John Scalzi. I know I've talked about this enough but I had to put some science fiction in here and that's the one I want to start with so of course that's the one that's going to be here. So yeah. Um, the next book is Warbreaker by- wait I actually have that book. The next book is of course Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I got this one for Christmas. I am so happy about that. I am going to read this one soon. Of course, I'm reading The Lord of the Rings at the moment, so not yet, but, but after a couple of literary fictions, I am totally picking this one up. I don't really think I need to say much about this book because it's so darn popular. Number six is one that I want to talk about, which I don't think many people have read. If um, and that is Lord of the White Hell by Jin Hale. Now the reason I want to read this one is because I read Wicked Gentleman by Jin Hale and I really loved that book. I think I want to read more by Jin Hale. I want to get her more well known. I don't think many people know about her. This one sounds just like so fun. You know, typical, you've got your typical kind of roguish characters. I think it's 
set in a kind of training school and I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be romance between two guys and you know what, shameless love for it. Number seven on my list is gonna go ahead and be The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. Yes, another really popular one that has sparked my interest and that I wanna read. I like the feeling of this book. I think it feels like, you know, thieves and just kind of, it, I just get this Night Runners vibe from it. I know it probably isn't. I think Chris also said that. Um, and yeah, it's kind of true. Number eight on my list is gonna go ahead and be Air of Fire by Sarah J Moss. I'm putting this one on here. I know it's young adult. I'm putting this one on here because I've not read it yet. I don't own it actually, um, but I have read Crown of Midnight. I own the first two books and I should get to Air of Fire. It's been out a while. Number nine is actually gonna be Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Um, yeah, dystopian, science fiction, very famous classic. Really ought to read it, putting it on this list so that I do. Book burning, guys. Book burning. Break. Do you like my Catcher in the Rye advertisement? Because I do. So coming in at number 10 on the list, we have His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik. Now, if I am not mistaken, this cover is spectacular. I want to own all of these books. Good look at the cover. I think this is the one with the beautiful cover. Is it beautiful? Let's decide. Let's talk in the comments. So, dragons. I do want to get to a book with dragons. I just, dragons, dragons, guys. This popped up and Nicole from Nicole's Adventures in FS, SF, SFF loves it. Rachel loves it. She gave it five stars. And so I want to read it. That's as simple as. Oh, I'm sorry. And His Majesty's Dragon seems to have the name changed to Temeraire. Or Temeraire 1. Or just Temeraire? Temeraire? Oh, fantasy books in your names. Okay. The present I want to talk about is actually in a similar vein, Dragons. And it is Have Mercy by Jada Jones and Danielle Bennett. Now, this came up and I know that it hasn't had the best ratings and reviews. Again, Rachel's read it because what well, hasn't Rachel read? And, but just the description of this book just sounds like something I might just love or just shamelessly devour. I know why I wanted to read this because this book has dragon corpse in it and that just sounds pretty amazing. Four people have to team up, a magician, a country boy, a young student and an unpredictable ace who flies the city's first strike and have mercy and I don't know it just it sounds so much fun I just really want to give it a try. What I have to talk about is The Changeling Sea by Patricia A. McKillop. This author was mentioned by Rachel. <laughs> Seriously this video is like sponsored by Rachel or something and um it just sounds gorgeous it sounds gorgeous guys. It's, I just sounds just look up the description on Goodreads or something, yeah. So number 13 on my list is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I just feel like I need to read this book. It sounds hilarious, sounds fantastic, sounds fantastical, and I really want to read it. Simple as, really. And then see the film. And number 14 on my list is Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier, because this one's getting a lot of hype at the moment, probably well deserved. It sounds really great. It sounds like another one that I really fancy reading and I've put it on this list. Okay, now that's 14. I thought that was, is that 14 or 15? I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna say another one. Um, and number 15 is A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. And I mean to read this one, I do. So my 15, science fiction and fantasy books that I want to read in 2015. I've not, I don't really own any of these yet and that is the good thing about it. I don't want to own them until it actually comes time to read them. The list is ever changing and I can just buy and read the book that's calling to me at that time. It could be any of them, it could be none of them, it probably will be some of them. Of course Warbreaker is going to be one that happens in the near future because I own that and I have my priorities when it comes to the ones that I want to read the most and the two that I want to read the most as well as Warbreaker are The Fall of Kings and Doctor's Jo- I can't get that right Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell.
So thank you for watching this video today. I had a lot of fun doing it. As always, I have a lot of fun when it comes to a video to do with my fantasy quest. I hope that if you have read any of these books, then please tell me down below because I really want to hear about them and know about them and know kind of in my mind which ones I want to be most excited for and put towards the top of the list. Thank you again for watching and I will see you soon. Bye! I'm wearing my Harry Potter necklace today because fantasy. But look what I found when I was looking through my wardrobe. <laughs> it's a dark mark temporary tattoo. Seriously, if I ever do a Harry Potter video, perhaps after I've reread the series, this is happening and then it will probably be summer and then I'll probably be stuck with a dark mark temporary tattoo for the next two weeks or something but worth it. That is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Manel. Jonathan Spleur.